Morning GC. I'm Casey Pritchard here with Carrie Walker to bring you today's announcements. The eclipse may be over, but the students here at GCHS still shine bright with their, with their continued access style. This week's winners will receive some free tacos from Taco Bell and a $10 gift card gift certificate provided by our GC leadership class to our very own Eagles Unlimited to get some great Eagle gear. Listen for your name to be, to be announced this afternoon. Sophomores have fallen into a sophomore slump, rising to only 29 points this week. Freshmen move forward with 51 style acts, and we have a battle waging for first place as juniors move up to 64 total points, with seniors closely behind at 62. Keep up the great work, guys. Thanks again to our sponsors this week, and a special thanks to our teachers. GCHS guidance counselors will host a parent information night for juniors and seniors on Thursday, August 31st. The meeting for senior parents will begin at 5 and the meeting for junior parents will begin at 6.30. Both meetings will be held in the pack. Our next SBDM meeting will be on Monday, August 28th at 4 o'clock in the library. Are you looking to voice your opinion? Are you looking to make changes to the library you love? Then look no further. The Grace County Library Teen Advisory Board is what you are looking for. Tab members input their ideas for programs, services, and materials for teen needs. And Tab you suggest resources the library may purchase to attract teens to the library. The task you could be assigned with are help to plan, carry out, and participate in programs, suggest materials for the young adult collection, as well as graphic novels, movies, and music. This will look great on any college resume. To be a Tab member, you must be in grades 6 through 12, have a parent's permission, hold a Grace County Public Library card, and attend the meetings. Members can always be excused from meetings by calling or emailing the advisor prior to the meeting with the reason of absence. Applications must be turned in August 28th. See Ms. Halls in our library or pick one up at, Graves, at the Graves County Public Library. Calling all drama kings and queens, aspiring politicians, class clowns, lovers of debate, and those who friends say you need your own TV show. The GCHS forensic team needs you. Join Mrs. Crouch and Miss Mr. West, Thursday afternoon at 3.15 and then Fancy Farm 03 to take the first step to becoming the next big thing. At attention seniors, those who are interested in being a student representative on the Graves County Schools Board com should, complete their should complete and submit their application by Friday, September 1st. Applications are available in the front office. GCHS juniors and seniors have the unique opportunity to register with the Murray State University Educational Opportunity Center. By registering with this center, students will have access to vouchers to pay for the ACT and SAT pro preparation for college, insurance exams, career and academic counseling, free tutoring, and much more. All juniors and seniors were given the registration form in their English class, but the form must have a parent signature. If you need an additional form, students can pick one up in the front office. Completed forms should be turned into the front office. During the break, Tank Puckett previews tonight's football matchup at Caldwell. And Tyler Travis shares a football hot video. Rotary Youth. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about shit they've been talking about. Telling me I should do this, telling me I should do that. Telling me, telling me things about rap. Talking the truth and that stab in my back, they will knock me off track. No, no, too many things have been building, been hard to deal with, I just been drinking. Remember my moves in the past, I'm wondering what was I thinking Lately I'm living in fear, wondering what if the end is so near All the shit going on, the shootings are strong, one shot to the head and I'm gone I'm losing control but I can't let it go cause I'm trying to get more And I've been in the moment, I've been in the zone and I'm moving alone I don't pick up the phone with my family, call up and doing it wrong And I don't know what's happening, trying to get what i just been imagining Getting close and i just been examining all of the fake shit the game has been packaging I've been keeping real, I've been doing what I feel I've been out here trying to kill I'm 
town where most of the people are so close minded they go into school and they work in a job but they don't even like it i won't be put in a box nobody telling me what i should rock nobody telling me what i should drop because i do what i want and just know i don't stop recording till four in the morning they snoring i'm pouring my soul into every story i'm writing producing i mix it i master i'm building my craft and i'm not looking back i've been going doing things i want to do when i want to everybody want to get away but they not do everybody want to copy you but they're not you everybody want to be cool but they're not new whoa look how i go gonna be a dentist i still got the flow never gonna lose because i'm still doing both never gonna lose because i've been on the road come to your state and i'm killing the show know that i'm young and i still gotta grow know that i'm working the most no i'm never gonna choke and i'm looking back down on the people below i've been keeping real i've been doing what i feel i've been out here trying to kill every beat i know i will everything i'm working on every night another song they've been quiet all along they gon' notice when i'm gone Hey GC, on Thursday afternoon the Eagle and Lady Eagle golf teams traveled to Oaks Country Club to play Murray High. The Eagles won their match 161 to 171. Alex Jackson led the Eagles with a 40. Our boys have now won six straight with crosstown rival Mayfield up next week. The Lady Eagles avenged a loss from earlier in the year to Murray High by winning 180 to 184. And Cole Taylor was the low scorer for the Lady Eagles with a 40. Ellie West was close behind with a 43. Our girls have won three straight. Both teams will be in action on Tuesday as they host Paducah Tillman. Our boys soccer team will be in action tomorrow night as they travel to Ohio County to play. Kickoff is set for 7.30. Our volleyball teams travel to Lexington to play in the Bluegrass Invitational Tournament. And what you've all been waiting for, our football teams travel to Caldwell County to play the Tigers. Kickoff is set for 7.30. Caldwell County lost last week at home against Christian County, 27-10. That's all we have for today's sports action. For GCTV Sports, I'm Ben Hill. Last week, the Eagles came in with a mindset of 1-0. That's tomorrow this year for the team. They try to take things one game at a time. They did just that Friday as the Eagles came out on the first possession of the game. They just scored in 40 seconds. That score led to an offensive showcase where the Eagles put 40 points on the board en route to a 40-24 win. The Eagles were led by Trevor Grant and Cody Gelty. As both of these players broke Eagle records. Trevor Grant broke the single game receiving record with 267 yards. And Gelty broke the single game passing record with 405 yards through the air. Trevor Grant and Cody Gelty were both named Paducah Sun Player of the Week, and Cody Gold was named BioConnect's WPNC Local 6 Player of the Week. Avery Milliken led the defense with 10 tackles, and Kobe Lamb and Tavis Brown both had an interception. But this week's challenge is a step up, as the Eagles will head to Princeton, Kentucky to face Carl Wilkin. The Tigers were called well, usually a 3A powerhouse is reeling after QB Shane Burns quit this offseason to focus on baseball. And with the rebuilding offense and defensive line, the Raleigh brothers are the ones that Caldwell will need to get the ball to. The key will, in this one will be containing Jermaine and Trey Raleigh on both sides of the ball. Last Friday, the Tigers were defeated by the Eagles' first district rival, Christian County, 27-10. This game kicks off at 7. Show up and root on the Eagles to another victory. GCTV Sports, I'm Preston Puckett. Hey GC, Friday there will be a high of 83 and a low of 60. Saturday there will be a high of 84 and a low of 59. And Sunday there will be a high of 86 with a low of 64. Have a great day GC.
Rotary Youth Leadership Awards is Rotary's leadership training program is a three-day camp for high school sophomores who show great potential towards leadership, but lack the experience needed to use these skills in their home communities. For more information, contact the sophomore counselor, Alicia Mathis. RYLA applicants should meet the following criteria. Participants should be sophomores in high school, be 14 to 16 years of age. Participants must be transported to the event. Under no circumstances can the participant drive to the event. Pep Club is meeting today in Miss McKee's room, Sedalia 14. Parking tags are now available in the front office. Vehicles will be checked beginning next week. The leadership class will host the blood drive next month. It will be from 8 to 1 on September 8th. You can sign up during lunch. Just look for their table in the Commons. Rotary Student of the Month applications are now available in the front office. Please return completed applications to Ms. Leonard in the guidance office by Monday, August 28th. Attention Fine Arts students, the choir department will be hosting a pizza party and a movie for, the, for only five bucks on August 25th, starting at 5.30 in Ms. Kaufman's room for the pizza party. And the pack for the movie, Money Raised, will be used will be used to benefit our GCHS choir. All money should also be turned into Ms. Kaufman by August 24th. GCHS sports passes are for sale in the front office for $25. These passes get you into any home game for any sporting event during the regular season. The annual GCHS student photo contest will be held next month. Who's, who's invited? Any GCHS student. What are you doing? Any digital or hand-developed photo? Any student can enter up to three photos. Every single photo has a $2 entry free fee for The presentation bus must be in a frame matted or mounted. The deadline to enter your masterpiece is September 1st. Any questions you have for the competition should be directed to Ms. Cope. She will be taking the entry fees and photos in room CO3. And that's all for today's news. For GCTV, I'm Casey Pritchard. And I'm Carrie Walker. Have a great day, GC.